Welcome! This section gives you additional information on the technique of macrame. Macrame People have been tying knots since the beginning of time and they serve both utilitarian and decorative purposes. It is a fascinating combination of art and science. Macrame items look beautiful but often rather complicated and hard to do. You may not believe it, but the designs of most of the macrame work are built up from different combinations of a few basic knots. Once you become familiar with these knots, you will be able to easily create any item you want. Overhand Knots Overhand knot is the one we all know. We learned how to tie an overhand knot when we learned to tie our shoelaces. Lock heads knot This kind of knot is used to connect the cord to an object. Slide the loop around the object, in this case a chopstick, and pull the tails through the loop. Square Knot Method 1 The square knot is the basis of many designs. It is also called a flat knot or reef knot. Step 1 The left cord goes over the center, then under the right cord. Step 2. The right cord goes under the center, then comes up through the hole and passes over the left cord. Step 3. The left cord goes under the center and over the right cord. Step 4. The right cord goes over the center and then down through the hole and passes under the left cord. Square knot Method 2 Step 1 The left cord goes over the center, then under the right cord. Step 2 The right cord goes under the center, then comes up through the hole and passes over the left cord. Step 3 Right cord goes over the center, then under the left. Step 4 Left cord goes under the center, then comes up through the hole and passes over the right cord. Square Knots a single tightened square knot. Three completed square knots. A row of knots is called a senate. Half knot. If you only use step one and two of the square knot, you have tied a half knot. Tying a half knot over and over will create a spiral senet. Alternating half hitch. Step 1. A half hitch is tied by passing the working cord around the carrier cord and then through the loop formed. Step 2. The alternating half hitch switches back and forth between the two cords. Horizontal Double Half Hitch Step 1 Tie two half hitches around the carrier cord. It carries the knots. A pin between cords number 1 and number 2 helps to give you something to pull against. Step 2 Pull it snugly while you hold the carrier cord straight out horizontally. 
Step 3. A completed row of knots. Diagonal double half hitch. The diagonal double half hitch is tied in exactly the same way as the horizontal double half hitch, except that you hold the carrier cord at a diagonal as you tie the knots. Vertical Locks Head Knot Step 1 Left cord goes over and around the right cord. It comes through the space between the two cords and over itself. Step 2 Left cord goes under and around the right cord. Then it passes through the space and under itself. Step 3. Pull snugly. Step 4. Repeat to create a senate. Vertical double half hitch. Instead of changing the working cord with every knot you tie, as in horizontal double half hitch, the vertical double half hitch uses the same cord to tie knots all the way across the rows. Step 1. Place a pin between cord number 1 and number 2 to serve as an anchor to pull against. Tie a half hitch with cord number 1 around cord number 2. Pull it snugly. Step 2. Tie a second half hitch with cord number 1 around cord number 2. Pull it snug. Step 3. Using the same cord as your working cord, move to the next cord in the row and repeat steps to tie another vertical half hitch around the new cord. Step 4. Pull it all snugly. Step 5. Repeat until the row is complete. Berry knot. Step 1. Tie a row senate of square knots. A minimum of 3 knots is needed. The photo shows 4. Step 2. Take the center cords. Pass them up and between the middle of the cords above the knots. Step 3. Pull down so that the square knots curl up into a ball. Step 4. Use the same cords to tie a square knot around the cords that were not pulled through the cords above the knot. To form this berry pattern, First make a square knot braid of 6 to 10 knots. Pull the base threads up between the third and fourth cords above the first knot. Place the basic threads between the working threads and make one more finishing square knot. Josephine Knot Step 1 Use the left cord to make a right facing loop. The lower part of the cord should pass behind the upper part. Step 2. Take the right cord, lay it across the loop you made in step 1, then pass it under the lower part of the left cord. Step 3. Bring it around, passing over the left cord above the loop, under the top part of the loop, over the part of cord that is laid on top of the loop and under the outside part of the loop. Step 4. Gently tighten, keeping the two sides even. For a double knot, Add a second cord to each side. Here is one of the most beautiful of the macrame knots. Place two threads as shown. Pull all four ends evenly. This knot 
is perfect for the center of macrame piece. Alternating square knot. Step 1. Begin with 8 cords hanging down, 4 cords doubled and tie a square knot with cords number 1 and 4. Tie a second square knot using cords number 5 and number 8. Step 2. Tie a square knot using cords number 3 and number 6. Step 3. Repeat step number 1. Step 4. Repeat step number 2. Step 5. Keep alternating between steps number 1 and number 2 until it is as long as you want. The loop knot. Step 1. Make a loop with one cord and another cord as shown. Step 2. Continue tying loops on the same cord or on both cords by turn. Frivolet knot. The frivolet knot is usually used for garnishing the edges of macrame pieces. First, fix a base thread like green on the pictures. Next, make a loop with the working cord like orange as shown in the pictures. Then, pull the cord under the base thread. Make another loop. Pull the cord above the base thread and under the cord's loop. Tighten the knot. You can leave a small loop between two frivolet knots and fix it with a pin. Step 1. First, fix a base thread. Step 2. Next, make a loop with the working cord, orange in color, then pull the cord under the base thread. Make another loop. Pull the cord above the base thread and under the cord's loop. Tighten the knot. Step 3. You can leave a small loop between two frivolite knots and fix it with a pin. Capuchin knot. The capuchin knot often is tied on the ends of tassels. It makes them very neat and trim. Make about 5 to 10 loops with the end of the cord as shown. Pull the end and make knot tight. Then cut the extra thread under the knot. Step 1. Make about 5 to 10 loops with the end of the cord as shown. Step 2. Pull the end and make knot tight. Then cut the extra thread under the knot. Wind knot. This knot is used for gathering many threads together, mostly at the end of the work, and creating a tassel. Place additional thread, like green as shown in the first picture, doubled above all cords. Then Wind the longest cord around the other cords from bottom to top. Pull the end through the loop of the additional thread. Then draw the thread down and if necessary, hide the short end of cord in the tassel. Step 1. Place additional thread, green in picture, doubled above all cords. Then. Wind the longest cord around the other cords from bottom to top. Step 2. Pull the end through the loop of the additional thread. Then draw the thread down and if necessary, hide the short end of the cord in the tassel. 
the clear edge method. This method is often used for finishing a macrame work and if you don't want to leave tassels. The edge thread is used as a base. Make on it the double half hitch with next thread and then add the working thread to the first base thread. Create the double half hitch with the next thread. Now on two base threads. Continue until you gather all the threads in one bundle. Cut the ends off. Senet chain. This chain, also known as caterpillar chain, looks very nice from all sides and is often used for making bracelets and belts. Step 1. First, secure one end of the cord to your board with a pin. Make a counterclockwise loop, passing the working end under the thread. Step 2. Make a fold and push it through the first loop, moving left to right. Pull on the fold to tighten the knot. The working end must stay on the left. Step 3. Repeat step 2 as many times as necessary to complete the chain senet. Always push the new fold into the one previously made. Step 4. To finish the chain, pull the working ends into the last loop you have made and tighten the knot. Macrame Patterns The Gourmand Pattern This pattern is made from three flat knots tied in different directions or one five square knots. It is often used as a central knot for gathering together several cords. The square knot braid. This braid is made from many square knots made one under another. It is one of the most common patterns in macrame. The spiral braid. This braid is made from many flat knots tied in the same direction. For a left twisted braid, make left flat knots. For right twisted, make right knots. The chain braid. For creating this braid, make loop knots with both cords by turns. This braid is easily stretchable. The chameleon braid. First, create a square knot. Then change positions of the base and working threads. Move the base ones to edges as is shown on the picture. Tie another square knot, then change positions of threads again. The chameleon braid looks nicer if made with two different colored cords. The square knot braid with picots. Leave equal loops between two square knots and fix them with pins. Then remove the pins and squeeze the knots close to each other. You will now have a very trim lace. The wavy braid. Mount four threads. With edge cords, make loop knots over the base center cords. Use right and left base cords by turns. This braid is especially nice if made with multicolored cords. The cross Chinese knot. Place two threads as shown on picture and then 
pull ends evenly. You will have a very nice square shaped knot. The clover leaf knot. This Chinese knot brings health and wealth into your house. Make loops with the thread in strict order. The hardest and final step is to pull out the certain loops above and under the main large loop. The snake knot. Fix two cords. Make a loop knot with the right cord as shown. Then with the left cord tie a loop through the first one and tie the knot. The chess pattern. First create a row of square knots. Then mixing the next row make square knots between the knots in the upper row. Continue making rows of knots in this chess order. The petals pattern. Tie a diagonal hitch from left top to right bottom of 6 to 10 double half hitches. For a second diagonal hitch, use the edge left threads as base thread. After completing a whole row, make a double half hitch with the first base thread on the second base cord. Then make two similar diagonal hitches but this time from right top to left bottom. The lucky knot or also known as good luck knot. The lucky knot it is probably the hardest one. Use spins for fixing the cord on each step. It makes your work easier. Step 1. Place the thread as shown on the first picture. A three petal flower will appear. Note the petals should not be very long. 2 to 3 inches will be enough. You can make longer ones for better displaying of the knot. Step 2. Starting with the bottom threads, bend the petals. Pull ends evenly in opposite directions. Step 3. Repeat step 2. Step 4. Carefully pull out the loops from the first lower knot to create a small petal between large ones. We are going to learn macrame. Macrame is made with any type of rope or cord, acrylic or jute or cotton or silk material with just knots we are just going to make we can make lampshades pot holders towel hangers we can make curtains bags purses etc now i will show you how to assemble the cord if we are going to make normal reef knot we need to take 4 times the length, supposing we are going to make 10 inches of whatever project we are going to make, for, for that we need to take 8 times. So 10 into 8 will be 80 inches, take several cords, the required number of cords, hold both the ends, so you will get the center. Now we are going to assemble in any cord. This is not going to be seen. So any color cord we can take or, or the same color just to assemble. Fold it into two, we will get the center. Hold it like this. Front to back, hold the center, put this cord into the 
loop and pull it. It gets fixed. This is how we assemble. This is called lax knot. Hold both ends, bring it to the center, hold the loop front to back, hold the center cord, put the thread through and pull it down. Lax knot. Hold both edges, bring it to the center, front to back, hold the center into the hold both edges, bring it to the center, front to back, hold the center, put the thread through and Now we have assembled all the cords, the color choice can be ours and in any order you require, we have assembled the cords in lax knot. Now I am going to show you the next stitch, reef knot. For reef knot, you just need to take two sets of lax knot. So, you have totally four cords. Take four cords, hold the center two, the right side cord, hold it like an L, hold it like an L. Left side cord comes 
only on top of the L, it goes behind the center too and pull out through this. The side cords pull it sideways, center cords pull it down, sideways down, make it tight. We have done the right side, now we are going to do the left side. Left side hold the cord like an L, like an L. This cord comes only on top of the L, goes behind the center too and pull out through this. Side cords pull it sideways, center cord pull it down. This is called reef knot, one right and one left. This is called reef knot. Take the next four cords, you have two lax knots totally four cords, hold the center two, take the right side cord, hold it like an L, left cord comes above the, comes above the L, behind the center two, pull out to this, side cords pull it sideways, center cord pull it down. Now the left side, hold it like an L, this cord comes only on top of the L behind the center to pull it out through this side. Reef knot. Hold the center to hold it like an L. This comes on top of the L behind the center to
now one row of reef knot has been done next row can be done in a straight line or in between the two stitches now i will show you how to do it in a straight line again one right one left again one right one left this way you can make continuous reefs now i'll show you how to do in between in between two knots here you can see you have four knots four reef knots take two from the inner side of the first knot two from the second knot from the inner side two from the first knot two from the second knot now make a reef knot again two from the second knot two from the third knot and now make a reef knot now from the third one take two from the third one two from the fourth one make a reef knot now you can see 1 2 3 4 next row we have done in between and so you have got three knots again we can continue in the next row take two from the first knot two from the second knot again two from the second knot two from the third knot now you can see two four three two next we are going to get one two from this knot and two from this knot now you can see a triangle shape has come Now we have two triangles, everything done with only reef knot. Next stitch, I am going to show you how to make a hitch. It is called clove hitch. Take one cord this is called the standard cord now we are going to hitch these cords take one cord take the first one the standard cord we have taken from right to left we are holding it from right to left so this cord from right to left hold it like a U 
front to back pull it out of the U and hold the standard cord straight pull this thread repeat it hold it like a U front to back pull it out of the U standard cord hold the standard cord straight and pull this tight only if you do twice it becomes a knot this is called clove hitch hold it across keep it like a U right to left this one also right to left front to back pull it out like a U front to back pull it out of the U The standard cord doesn't show, it gets concealed into the hitch. The standard cord doesn't show, it gets concealed into the hitch. So, you have to decide which cord, which color has to show and assemble here accordingly. Now, I will show you one more row of hitching. Take the next cord, hold it across, keep it like a U, front to back, pull out through the U. Only if you make it twice, it becomes a knot. So, each cord you have to hitch it twice. This is called clove hitch. See now the standard cord has come from there to the end of the triangle. The same way we will do for the other side. We are going to do the hitch for the other side. Now hitching we are taking the first cord, hold it across from left to right. Since we are holding the standard cord from left to right, we are going to do the hitch also from left to right. Hold it like a U, front to back, pull through the U. We have to do it twice to make it a knot. Now, hold the standard cord across from left to right. This also comes from left, hold it like a U from left to right, front to back, pull it out through the U. Hold it like a U front put it front to back pull it through the U hold it like a U front to back pull through the U hold it like a U thread front to back 
circular through the U. You can make either only reef knots, only hitch, anything of your choice, it is a mix and match, anything of your choice. This is reef knot, this is clove hitch, again in the center I will show you how to make a reef knot, a bigger reef knot. Usually we take two in the center, one the other side totally four cords, now I have taken eight cords in the center, three on the side and 3 on this side, same way hold the this bunch of cords like an L, this comes on top of the L behind the center cords and pull through this. This is a larger reef knot. You can see a reef knot in the center, this is a larger reef knot. I will show you another pattern in macrame which involves reef knot and clove hitch. Take the required number of cords. For reef knot we have to take 8 times and if we are going to do hitch, clove hitch we need to take 10 times or sometimes if the whole project is going to be only with hitch you can take 12 times for hitch. I am assembling with 
लार्ज नॉट एल ए आर के लार्ज नॉट इन एनी ऑर्डर of your choice now i'm going to bring a butta effect so i am assembling it two in each color now we have assembled two two in each shade you can assemble even in a stick or whatever suppose you are going to do a wall hanging you can assemble in a stick like this now i have just assembled it on a rope just to show you how to make it first make one row of reef knot after making one row of reef knot now we are going to do hitch clove hitch we have to decide which color has to be shown in the clove hitch accordingly we have to work now now i'm going to do take the cream color cord hold it across and make the clove hitch
So, the cream color cord is a standard cord. only the first two cords. Then again take the next cream color cord, hold it across and make a hitch in only the these two. Now we have two rows of hitch. Similarly from right to left, take the same cream color cord. Now the next cream color cord, right to left, now you can see we have taken two cream color cord from this knot, made the hitch and brought it here, taken two cream color cords from there, made the clove hitch and brought it here. Now we have got four cords here in the center. I am making a reef knot. With very simple knots, just a very few knots in macrame, but the beauty lies in how we are mixing and matching the stitches, adding colors adding beads the same way we have to repeat for the other set. Take the next card. make a reef knot in the center. Now, the first row one set of hitching is over. Now, the next step. Now, in the opposite direction. So, the hitching becomes comes like a X shape. The cream color standard cord comes gets concealed into the hitch and is shown only in the center. same way here in the next cream color reef knot you take 
two cords this side, two cords this side and make the hitch. Now take the first cord and do the hitching in, in the left side. Take the next second cord and repeat the hitching. Now take the other two cords, take it to the right. You can find, you can see the yellow, the cream color cords look like a butta in the center and the hitching comes like an X on all four sides. I am going to show you how to make Josephine's knot. It is just done with two cords. I have taken four cords, one the two this side, two this side, but you, you can even make with two single ropes. Hold the left side cord straight take the right side cord, hold it like a O, just give it a circular, just hold it like a circle, the top cord comes on top of the right side cord and see that the left side color cream color cord comes in the center of this O. Hold it here, hold only the red cord keeping the yellow cord in the center of the O, hold it like this, hold it here. Now take the cream color cord, this comes on top of this behind, go behind, come out of the two center cords, come out of the, take it out and immediately you have this O, go into the O and come behind this, take it out. In the beginning it might seem difficult, but it is very easy. Just in one go you can make the knot. It looks like an 8, figure 8. Like a reef knot, you cannot just pull it. If you pull it, it will become tight. You have to tighten it very slowly. Hold it like this, press it press the 8 part and then pull it very slowly. It is a very pretty knot, it comes flat, I will show you again. Hold the left side cord, keep it straight, the right side cord just right to left and again make a round, come back to the right side. Hold it like an O, 
the left cord comes in the center of the O, hold it like that and hold only the right side cord, hold it here in the intersection. Take this cord, comes on top of the hanging cord, goes behind, you can see the two loops, two lines come from behind the two lines, take it out and put this cord through, you have the O, you have the O and the line in the center, go into the O and take it out this side, pull the cord out. pull it very gently. You can tighten it one below the other, this just to show the difference I have given some gap for you to understand the knot. Hold the left cord straight the right cord, keep it like an O, the left cord comes in the center of the O, hold the left side cord and the intersection, here is the intersection. Take this cord, comes on top of the hanging cord, take it behind the center behind through the center two, in between take it behind and bring it out in between the two parallel cords, take it out. Now you can see the O, you can see the center cord here, center color, cream color, take it down through this and take it out this through this side. See it goes down here and comes out here. When you start learning, when you start making it for the first time, you try with two shades then it is easier for you to make it. Josephine's knot. This is a wall hanging, come magazine holder, you can put the magazine here, assembled with lax knot, here you can see only reef knot, this is reef knot in a straight line, here we have done reef knot in between, then here you can see the hitch. Since we have done the hitch from here, this color has come till this part. According to that you have to plan accordingly where the color has to come and again this is again hitch, hitching on the stick. This is again hitch. The same piece has been, same pattern has been repeated, but here the color has changed. The white has come to the center, here the blue, we have brought the blue to the center. This is a mixture of two colors, assembling the colors too close, one after the other, one darker, one lighter shade and the pattern has been changed here, just making by only the whole thing is full of reef knots, 
and change the color. We have not added the color, but just change the cord and change the pattern. Here the handle also is only with reef knot. Keep some thick rope or two or three cords inside and make the reef knot on top. You get the thicker handle effect. This bag has been done with beads. You can add beads wherever you want. Here the same beads have been added in the handle. And here in the base also beads have been added like tassels. Here it is a mix and match of two shades. The hitch is done accordingly so that it has gives a butterfly like effect. The same reef knot has been converted to a hitch here it has been done into a hitch and the hitch has been brought here to bring the butterfly effect. The cords have been assembled in the handle. This has been here the bag the cords have not been assembled on a rope. The cords have been inserted into a bead and then started with reef knot and beads have been added in between. The handle is only with reef knots, but the color has been changed to the darker two reef knots of the darker shade and one reef knot in the center to give it a checkered effect. This is a belt in which the lax knot is made directly on the buckle, buckle of the belt, then a few rows of reef knot and then it is fully only hitching. Here too it is assembled in a buckle starting with the reef knot and this is one side hitch this is two side hitch. This is a single color bag with only hitches, no patterns in the center, but that gives a wavy effect. This is two side hitch, you can see the wavy effect in the center. The wrong side shows like this. This is again in a plain color with only reef knots not assembled on a cord just directly make the reef knot and continue with that with the hitch and in the center of the, the hitch is made in, in a diamond shape and in the center a larger reef knot is done, a larger reef knot. The handle also only with reef knots. This is a butterfly wall hanging made with only hitch, there is no reef knot or any other knot. It is completely totally made with only hitching added with beads. A very simple pattern with two rows of reef knot then added with beads, two rows of hitching and again beads with two rows of hitching, very simple pattern a wall hanging because of the beads and the space the diamond shape it gives an enhanced look. Thank you.